All right, so this is the test review. If you, I'm going to go in order of the test. So if you need to like skip some problems, you can. Like if you already know how to do one and two, then you should probably skip forward to number three. Um, for numbers one and two, you will have to remember how to show your work for them um, because there are some problems that you do have to show your work and then there's others that you don't have to. So um, please remember that when you see parentheses, that means that there is something that needs to get multiplied. And in this case, there's an invisible one, which is negative one right here because of the minus sign. So this will be negative one times 6m and then negative one times eight. So in that case, that will give us a negative six M and then a minus eight. Then that's where we have our equals. And then here we got to do four times 17 and then four times, a, a, there's another invisible one. So four times negative one M. So go ahead and fill in the rest of that blank and then see if you can answer your question. Um, because remember, you need to know the steps to solving. I'm also going to remind you how to use your calculator to um, do these problems. So that means I'm going to type the original equation all the way up and, to, and set up. You have to use X's and Desmos because Desmos only like X's. So I'm going to keep typing in everything up, stop at the equals. Then on the next line, I'm going to put everything that's after the equals. This is just me reminding you how to get um, the problem some of the problems, sorry, no M, some of the problems will work this way, especially if it's whole numbers. You're going to look for where the red and the blue cross. So I got to go either scroll, scroll up or scroll, zoom in, zoom out to find where the two lines cross. Now remember, it's going to give you the full point, but all we care about is what did we change the M's to? We changed them to X's, so the answer will be negative 38. You can do the same thing with this one, but be careful. If for some reason you end up getting a decimal answer. Go ahead and change this to a decimal to see what that equals. Go ahead and change this to a decimal to see what that equals. So then you can match it with the decimal with the decimal answer that Desmos gave you. All right. Now let's look at number three. A customer is buying bath towels and hand towels and can spend no more than one hundred. Each bath towel costs eight and each hand towel costs five. We did one like this in yesterday's notes, so if you rather look at your notes instead of continuing to watch this part of the video. Oh, look! The inequality! They give us the inequality. We didn't even have to write it. Um, I hope you notice that this inequality is in stupid standard form, so we can't tell anything. You really can't even tell which symbol it is, because remember, if you have to divide by a negative, that means that your symbol is going to flip. So we're going to have to work this out. So let me rewrite it here so we can work it out. So we're going to move our 8 over here because it's in stupid standard form and we have to get it out of standard form before we can do anything. Divide everything by what's with the y value. So that's going to be y is less than or equal to, let's see, 100 divided by 5 is 20. So that's going to be 20 and then I know this is going to stay as negative 8 over 5 with the x. So now plug this computer in your calculator, no, no, plug this problem, my bad, in your calculator and see which line goes with it. Is it the line that touches the y at the 20? Because these two touch at 20. Oh, shoot. They all touch at 20. So all the lines are the same. So the big idea here is to know that we did not flip the inequality, but what does this sign mean? There's posters all over the classroom to help you figure out what this sign means. Remember. If it has the equal to, that means it has to be a solid line. And this symbol, you you got to use your hands. Which hand is it? Is it your right hand? No, it's not facing the same way. It's your left hand. And your left hand means less than. So you're looking for which line is solid and which one is shaded less than, which means it's shaded under the line. Is the shaded side under this line? No. The shaded side is not under this line. Is the shaded side under this line? Yes, the shaded side is under this line, but is it a solid line? <gasps> yes, it is a solid line, so that looks like that will be your answer. Moving on. Number four, what is the solution to this equation? Okay, yes, there's going to be one on your test. You will have to show your work to get your um, points. However, if you want to use the same trick as we did number one, please do that and find your answer. You can check in with me if you want to make sure your answer is right. Moving on to number five. 
Number five, this was one of those literal equations. We didn't really get to too much practice for this, um, but I'm going to do it now. We're going to use the same steps that we would use if we solved this one by hand. So we have S equals pH plus 2B, and we need to solve for B. When you're solving for B, that means everything that has a B needs to go on the left side. Usually we solve for X, so everything goes on the left side for X's, but this time it's B. So anything that has a B with it, we're moving it up. Remember, if it crosses the line, change the sign. So now we have negative 2B, and everything else goes here. So pH goes here, and then this S is about to cross the line, so it becomes negative S. So all of our B's are over here. We only have one thing with the B, so there's nothing to combine. Over here, we can't combine because there's too many letters, so it just kind of forms a little equation or a little expression over here, pH minus S, okay? And then we're going to have to look at... Um, if you take a look, pH and S are getting combined over here, which means they're either getting added or subtracted. So if you look over here, what things are getting added or subtracted? This, there's nothing getting added or subtracted. can't be the answer. Look at this one. There's nothing getting added or subtracted, so this can't be the answer either. So then we're going to go ahead and move forward with our problem after we eliminate some stuff. Remember, divide by what's with the variable, negative 2. Divide both sides by what's with the variable. And then we get B equals. Over here is pH minus S over a negative 2. The closest answer is going to be A because negative 2, if we flipped all the signs, since this is negative, we could flip all the signs and that will give us a positive 2. Your S will be positive and your pH is negative. So A will be your answer for this one. This one doesn't even have a 2 at the bottom, so that's why we eliminated that one. Moving on to number 6. We did a problem just like this in the warm-up yesterday, and you're definitely going to need Desmos. It says circle the, order pair, circle the order pairs that are in the solution set. In order to see what's in the solution set, we need to either have a number line or a graph, and we're going to have to graph this one. So y equals, yes, you have to make sure you put it equals because Desmos doesn't like inequalities, all right? Once you put that in your Desmos calculator, let's find it. Let me click my little home button so I can see everything. You need to know what this symbol means. This symbol, we already talked about it right here. It means that the, the solutions are, what is this symbol? Less and equal to the line, all right? So we're going to start plugging these points in Desmos also to see if this if this point is less than or equal to the line, it is in my solution set. So let's take a look at this black dot right here. If I draw from my line, if I draw an arrow going straight to my to my point, where is it? It's below. Yes, this one is below, so good. Since it's below, it is a solution. Let's try the next one. Parentheses negative three, comma negative three. Let's see. Oh, look at this dot. According to my line, this dot is above my line. If you need help with understanding if it's below or above, please ask the teacher. This one is above, which means it's not going to be a solution. Keep going. I want you to find the other two answers. There are two more, and that's the front page.